So we've been to all kinds of restaurants throughout Paris, but sometimes it gets a little stale. You want to try something new. So today, Vincent is going to teach us about raclette, which is, oh my God, gooey, gooey <laughs> cheese. Something fun, something entertaining. It's like a dining experience. And I can't wait because I heard there's dripping cheese and I want to taste it. Yeah. Then let's go. I'm let's hungry. Go. On y va. On y va. Let's go. Cheers to you. Cheers. What kind of cheese is it? This is what we're calling Tom de Savoie au lait cru. When it's starting to melt, you push with what we're calling the raclette. Ah, that's the raclette. And the so, raclette is the knife you use to scrape exactly, the cheese. Exactly. And you have two sides. This one is soft if you don't like the crust, and this one if you want to cut the hot crust to push it on the potatoes and charcuterie. Pickles in France are not the same as pickles in the US. They're very small and they're very crispy. They're brined with mustard, so it's not the dill and, and vinegar feeling that we're used to. And I love these. Mmm, they're very crunchy. <laughs> very good pickle. How we used to say in France, bon appétit, messieurs dames. Raclette is a medieval meal from cow herders high up in the Alps. They traveled with dried meats and potatoes because they were easy to store. They put their cheese by the fire and poured the melted cheese on boiled potatoes and the sliced dried meat. This cousin of fondue has been a hearty, delicious meal for literally over a thousand years. We took our teenage kids to have raclette and fondue. They were just like in awe of the gooey cheese and the fire heating it up. It was just such an amazing time. They loved it. So if you have kids, don't worry about this deal. It's way better than mac and cheese and better than you can imagine. What kind of cheese is in here? Actually, you have four cheese. You have Beaufort, Gruyère, Emmental, and Vacheron. What's in the fondue? Well, it's cheese, and what else do you put in there? A drop of uh, white wine and um, nuts and eggs. One more. <laughs> The close cousin to raclette, also from the Swiss border, is fondue savoyard. And how can you say no when the owner of the restaurant asks you if you want to try their fondue as well? The answer is yes. That's good stuff. 
Okay. This is the vacherin. Actually, uh, there is some ice cream between two slices of meringue. And the ice cream is made with chartreuse. And chartreuse is very strong alcohol for the end of uh, the dinner or lunch. Uh, usually, we used to say that when you are full of food, you just drink a shot of chartreuse and uh, you can eat again. I never had crunchy ice cream before, but the meringue makes it crunchy. It's extraordinary. Here, Antoine, take a bite. Wow, I've never had that. It's like a crunchy ice cream. It's like the meringue with the ice cream. Oh, this is really good. This is the perfect dessert after a meal like this because you're so full with the cheese and everything, but this is actually very pleasant. I love it. The crispy meringue makes it ooh la la. It is crispy, crunchy ice cream with alcohol. So what more could you ask for? Now, what a better way to walk off a big lunch than to walk around Santa Stash Catholic Church and the Ecoute Sleepy Sleepyhead sculpture on the north sides of Leal in the heart of Paris. Oh my God, that was so good. I love gooey cheese. Isn't it? It's awesome. It's just a great alternative to fondue. It is. It's a great alternative to fondue. It has some charcuterie and I don't know, it makes me think of a potato bar because, you know, it's all gooey together, but it's, I love it. Yeah, it's great. So please make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a thing. Give us a like if you enjoy this. And until next time. Au revoir. Au revoir. And bon appétit.